Good morning YouTube and this is part I don't know what the fuck of the Yamaha Virago build. Um yeah, you'll have to have a look at the title. It'll obviously say that I'll have figured it out by then. It's finally arrived. The start clutch after two weeks. Um yeah, it's been doing me head in waiting for it. Um but since then I've been doing some work getting it ready for it clean out there or uh, oil filter with some petrol because i'm going to reuse the old one for now put one load of uh, oil in it run it hopefully everything runs lovely then i'm going to dump that oil again and change the oil and filter because uh, we had water contamination in the oil if you don't remember go back and check whichever video that was it's not this one um yeah so we're gonna sort the kids out and everything, let them go to school and do the thing and that. Then I'm gonna get out in the shed and we're gonna get this thing back together. And then fingers crossed, the MOSFET I've uh, soldered into the CDI unit has fixed my non-firing on the front cylinder issue. It probably hasn't, because I'm not that fucking lucky, but we'll see. So I'm gonna have me brew, have me pills and stuff, sort the kids out and then we'll bring you back. Okay, so if you're new here, this is my 1991 uh, Virago 535. I'm turning into a bother. But today, <coughs> we're refitting the flywheel, the star clutch, and all this bollocks um, in the opener. She's going to start now, which she should do. Um, the star clutch had failed. Let me find the old one. Oh, the new one's in the packet there. The old one, look cracked straight across it and all the inside had fallen out and it had fallen out done a bit of messing um to the flywheel but nothing that can fix if you if you're interested in the work that i've done on that go and watch the previous videos because i can't be bothered going through it right now so first things first what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear a space somewhere that's clean to assemble this flywheel and this star clutch I'm going to use some Loctite, I'm going to use my torque wrench, and I'm going to use my service manual to make sure everything is correct. Because I'm having no fuck asking about with this. If you don't work, it's got to work properly. So that's the first job. Um, if you remember, I had to drill out the old bolts top. Oops, good filming. Top and bottom, because of the way the retard had done them before. Um, so... I'm not going to do that, obviously. I'm going to do it correctly. Yeah, there you go. With some Loctite. Um, I think I've got some more somewhere. But either way, um, I don't have a gasket for the side casing, so I'm going to do that incorrectly and use some RTV fucking eye temp fucking oil resistant bollocks. Fucking, yeah. I'm going to smush some of that on that. Not too much, just a nice little around it and bosh it all back together. Then uh, I've got to put the clean the plugs, put the plugs back in because I took them out to see if it's anything like hydro locking or anything like weren't turning over properly. It wasn't, which is I knew that anyway. But all of this is just to see whether I fix that CDI unit. Now the common issue on these is over the rear or the front cylinder not firing um, at all or misfiring or um and i believe with my limited uh ability to test these things that the mosfet had shit itself which fires the front cylinder so i've changed that because it was reasonably cheap and easy enough to do to sold a new one in um when i come to test the bike to see whether i had actually fixed it that is when the start clutch literally shit itself first press of the button so this is all still untested so we'll see what we're doing uh, first things I want to get set up over there, clean up over there, set up over there, and then we'll bring you lot back and we'll show you what we're doing about this star clutch assembly. Um, probably not going to need my big tall wrench for that, am I? I'm going to need my little one. So I'll just go find that first. Okay, so you can see there's some light scoring to this flywheel. Um, that scoring was actually there before he'd done his, prepare, um, his repair before. That's no damage that's been caused. And... All the threads are in good condition. So there are 150 to 200 quid. I can't afford a new one. That's going to have to work. So basically we're going to get this. We're going to bolt this to this. Using torque settings from this. With that. And some Loctite. Um, these are the new bolts I went with. 
I took my um, digital caliper cages and I measured what was left of the old bolts. Then I had to do a little bit of an estimate on what was left of the heads, how big they were. Um, hopefully everything fits and clears lovely in there. And I've measured everything correctly. I've got the right bolts, which is a good start because normally I'll cop that up straight away. So hopefully the length's right and all. Well, that took some finding. Starter clutch, M8125s. I don't know if that's right, but whatever. But 20 newton meters or 14 foot pounds, whatever money you work in. Um, I've also got the flywheel, 58 foot pounds or 80 newton meters. So I've got everything there to do this job properly. So I'm going to go and crack on and get that bolted up. Then I'm going to get it torqued up. Um, I'm probably going to put the flywheel on the bike and then we'll bring you back. Right, first problem. Tiny miscalculation with the head size of the bolts. I mean, I can force them in, but that's not going to be right and that's not going to give me the correct torque reading then. I can also go to the bench grinder and just try and take a mil or so off, oh, well not even that, it's just a tiny bit off it. Or I can get a file, uh, wherever my flat file is, and give it a go with that. I don't know. I'll think about it for a moment and then I'll let you know when I've done it, what I did. Right, so start a clutch reassembled. You gotta make sure your woodruff key's still in. Find the bolt, what you left here, like two weeks ago. I'm flying one up with a wood rough key, get her in there, bolt her up, 58 newton meters, or oh, foot pounds, I can't remember, check your own manual, or check what I said earlier, yep, um, then clean up the outside of that, clean up the outside of that, then smush them back together, but I have to figure out which bolts went where, because, well I did know when I took it off, but I don't know now, so, yeah. Do I clean that first? No, no I don't, because it's going to sit in oil anyway. No, it's going to be fine as it is. Somebody else's sealant there. Yeah. So that's how I'm going to do that, because I didn't buy a gasket yet. So, right, I'm going to crack on with that. I'm going to bolt this back up. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to refit it. Uh, then we'll bring you back as I'm reassembling other junk because uh, we'll be nearly near the point then. Oh, that ain't a plan. I made everything fall out and I've had to start again. But top tip, if you've got any little metal particles, so just uh, sort of rounded slightly one of these, get yourself some blue tack or white tack or something. Get it all nice and sticky. Smush it in whatever it is you're after. Pulls out all the stuff. You might have to do it a couple of times. But it pulls it all out and so i've cleaned out all the tiny bit of particles out of that so then i can reuse it again right now back to trying to fit it again right i think she's gone back together correctly we won't know until i hit that start button but i've still got the plugs to clean refit um i'm just gonna leave the seat off for now um it needs some oil in it I think we're ready. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to let the uh, sealant bollocks do its job. Um, I'm going to give it half hour or so. I'm going to go and have a brew. And then I'll come back. I'll clean them plugs. I'll fit them. Then we'll bring you back and we'll see what she does. Um, I mean, she'll at least run on one cylinder. I'm fairly confident of that. But the aim is two. So, yeah. Done a little bit of tidying up, but yeah, 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 it's not good. Yeah, I can't be bothered either. Right, before anyone starts, I know it's not the correct oil, it's better than no oil, and it's just literally for testing, and then we're going to swirl it around, obviously, inside the engine and get the last of that water and that out with the next oil change. This is purely to see whether it's going to start and then where it's going to run on two cylinders. Um, 
obviously I might start here, run it a few times, rev the balls out of it and show everybody that I know that look, I'm dead clever and I fixed it. Um, yeah, but I'm not planning on riding it or anything like that. Um, now I'm going to drop the oil, put the correct oil and a brand new filter in. So, you know what I mean? I'm making sure that there is no water left in there and there's 100% no chance of any metal flakes from drilling out any of that with the flywheel and stuff, etc., etc. Yeah, so I'm trying to be sensible because uh, I don't want to blow this engine up. Because yeah, to be fair, if this don't work now, it's between two and 400 quid for a CDR unit and I just can't afford that. Uh, we got Christmas coming up on that and th that's going to be expensive enough. And I'm going to be gutted if I have to leave this till after Christmas until next year to get it all back together. But... I mean, if that's what it takes, that's what it's going to take. But like I said, I'll, I will be absolutely gutted if I can't get this done for what I've spent already. And yeah, um, I put all my eggs in one basket with it. Currently, I have no bike to ride. I have a car, I drive a car, so that's all right, but I have no bike. Um, yeah, so. All right, let me put some oil in. Um, whoever's... Well, it's it's a 1991. I guess the twisty bit had broke off at some point in his life. So carefully did it with a pair of pipe grips there. Just nice and gently, not to damage them. Um, go on to this. It says 3.2 litres of oil. Oh, there. Um, that sounds a bit mud, but that's what it says. So that's what it's getting, something around that. What have we got in here? No, it's not. It's getting... And about 2.4 litres. Uh, I hope that's enough, because I don't think I've got any more oil. Not in this shed, anyway. Ah, oh, bollocks. Right, obviously the bike's on the piss. So this um, level window thing, bloody get out of the way. Um, yeah, it's not going to indicate properly what the score is Georgia does, because we're already showing oil on it, obviously. But that's because we're on the piss. Um, I can't remember what my bloody point was now. Oh yeah, that was it. If we see there, it actually says 2,800 centimetres cubed. CM3. That is cubed, isn't it? Is that how much oil this takes then? Or is that... No, that's not the displacement of the engine because it's the 535. So does it take 2.8 litres? No, we'll find out. Sorry, Arjon, I owe you two and a half litres of oil. Next job, clean spark plugs up. Well, we're only going to clean one because, well, no, that was a bit shitty. Yeah, as you see, this one ain't fucking fired. But that's the fucking thing. The old time about this bike is only ever run on one cylinder. Unless I had it, um, I tried to set it up to run off one coil for both of them, which I knew would cause a problem, but I wanted to see that cylinder fire. And boy, did it fire, it backfired its tits off. It was loud, but it proved my theory that, it, that everything there else should work. So, yeah, my uh, electrical testing ability is not the best. My equipment that I use isn't the greatest neither, it's probably the cheapest shite you can buy. So, yeah, this is all, you know, I'm going to be happy if I fixed it, put it that way. Um, so we're going to clean them up, refit them plugs. We've got oil in it now. Um, I need to have a quick look just to make sure. Uh, on my old SR125, uh, when you did an oil change and filter change on that, uh, when you run it, um, afterwards you're supposed to run it for a minute uh, with a small 10 mil bolt undone at the top of the sill in the head um, and then you, you wait until it starts putting oil out then you nip it back up and that's how you know it's got around everywhere so I don't know if there's a procedure like that to do on this first that's what the manual's for um, so I've got a comfy chair I've got a monster I uh, filled me very pump. I'll sit here and I'll have a little read and figure out what I'm doing next. I'm not rushing into this. Um, and then what I'll do is we'll set you up somewhere. So, I don't know. So you got a view when we do the uh, 
first start. We'll open the doors up, obviously. Um, yeah, and then we'll see what the score is. And fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I fixed that CDI unit. Only time will tell. Right, I read that service manual and nowhere in it does it say anything about needing to undo anything to make sure it's getting oil pressure or anything. He's saying though that the oil I put in is well too thin. Yeah. It'll do for the start purposes at least, so. Um, plugs are back in, nice and clean. I think it's ready. All I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go and set you up somewhere. Open the doors and then uh, fingers crossed. All right, that's the best I can do for an angle. Let's see. Oh, where's my screwdriver in case this not solenoid sticks? Because it does that sometimes. Fuel pump, fingers crossed. You have got to be me. You have got to be fucking killing me. We have one or two things happening here. It wasn't the start clutch at all, and the start clutch was fine, and the start motor itself had shit itself. Or something came apart while we was putting it back together. Hmm. Question is what and how do I uh, figure that out without having to Go back over everything I've done to find out that that was done correctly to then do the start motor again. Or do I say the start motor out? I mean, I don't even know how much they are. I don't know if I can afford to. Let's say Christmas and that. I um, don't even know if I can afford a start motor. Uh, Nobody about I can get to push me up and down the road to try and bump start to see if it's um fixed my CDI unit and it's gonna run uh on, I need a few minutes I need a few minutes to think and then figure out what I'm gonna do. Right the start motor looks like it's to be the easiest thing to remove to check. Um but in doing so, I think we're going to lose the oil. Um, yeah. And um, Well, if we go the other way and we take back apart what I've done and check that I haven't made a mistake. Um, yeah, we're going to lose all the oil again. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do right at this moment in time. Uh, I need to think about it really. Yeah, I need to have a think. Oh, as you can see, I decided it was easier to take this out and test this first. Now I'll put a container down there. It's caught whatever oil's come out, so I haven't lost it all. Um, should be able to strain that and reuse it again. Um, yeah, not so bad. I'm hoping we find that this is shit itself, because then it means that all that work this morning hasn't been for nothing. Um, you just see the state of the old star clutch. It, it was cracked right through itself. It was, it's fucked, so. Maybe this is two. Right, I'm gonna get a battery charger or something and test it, see if I can get it to 
spin. Okay, so negatively the battery charger to that, positively to that, and she spun up. But she sounded like she wasn't going very fast. Sounded like she didn't have a lot of torque. So I grabbed hold of the thing, gave it another go. Yeah, I could hold it, stop it from spinning. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's got to be knackered. So now, do we attempt to take this apart? And see if there's anything I can do because I have had success repairing these before. Well, that that is the only option because I can't afford to buy a new one. Right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking it apart. Right, back in a minute. All right, so this is what we got. You take the two long seven mils out. You wiggle this end off, and there's a couple of bits. It's like that funky bit, and there's like three little washers. They want to go back in as they come out. These three washers actually found in the bottom of there. They uh, attach to this piece here when it goes back together, I'm assuming. Um, I was hoping to find like some stock bushes or something or whatever you are. But I can't see anything really at first glance. Wrong, wrong. A little bit of like shite inside there. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to go and attempt to clean it up and what have you and see if I can make it work better. I don't know. I'll clean that up with a bit of wire wall as best as I can get it. I've cleaned all the shite I can get out of that. If you look right at the bottom though, it does look like there should be a little bit of grease. You know, like a tiny little bit of dielectric grease or something. I don't think I've got any. So I'm just going to put a little tiny spot of lithium, just a smear of lithium around it. Um, yeah, then I'm going to reassemble it. And see what happens then if you're following along because you're having the same problem this is when you realize it separates into three pieces which would have made you cleaning it a lot easier and uh, makes getting it back together easier without trying to get these little washers past this bloody magnet which is impossible bell end oh i've got it set up here let's see Doesn't sound like it's got a lot of torque behind it. Um, I did just try a minute ago and I could grab it and stop it, but I can't stop it once it's already spinning. So, is that fixed? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Do I refit it and test it again? It's, I suppose I'm going to have to, aren't I? Well, right, start motor's back on. I can't be asked to put that oil back in it yet. It's not going to work because, well, it's either fucked or this side's shitted out. I've done something wrong, I don't know. But either way, I can't be asked to fuck about with that anymore. So let's just, for the sake of testing it, test it. It's not going to work. Where is that coming from? It feels like the start motor itself. Maybe all my fixing today was right and the start motor has shot itself. Ah, well, therein lies the next problem. Yeah, so like I said earlier, if the start motor shit itself, well, that's tough. I, I can't afford to start my own. Not this side of Christmas, anyway. Um, yeah, which is a bit of a shitter, because I'd say I have my heart set on riding this thing. Um, I'm not going to bother taking the other side apart. When I was um, doing the start motor, then the noise that you can hear, I put my hand on the start motor. I could feel the noise is the start motor. Does that indicate that it's the problem? Maybe the start clutch is not engaging properly that end? I don't know, and we won't know today because I can't be bothered. That's it, I'm all deflated, I've had enough. Uh, if anybody has any ideas or can help me out, please leave a little fucking comment in the description. I'm really struggling here. Um, 
I don't want to give up on this bike, you know what I mean? For I ain't got funds to buy a new bike, and I'm getting sick of not being able to ride a bike. So if it means I have to sell this bike and buy a new bike, it might come to that. <sighs> It'd be a shit if it's only down to a start of motor though. The thing is with me, I'm impatient, I can't wait, so. Fuck it, I've had enough. I'm gonna go get cleaned up then, edit this video, put out a few lot. Um, hopefully somebody can help. Yeah. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, consider subscribing. subscribe, and if not, all that bollocks, um, who gives a shit? I'll catch you next time. Cheers.